Hello photoshoppers, well today I'm gonna show you how to make this. So let's begin. I'm gonna open these two images to photoshop. And on this image I'm gonna go to edit, define pattern and click ok. Now let's go to the background. So this is the background choose the text tool and type any name word anything you want i'm gonna type photoshop you can use any font and the size so make it make it make it bigger if you're gonna use the same as mine is AR Destin and the size is 200. So let's center this out. And now we're gonna click, double click on the Photoshop layer and we're gonna add some effects. So double click it. And the first one is gonna be a stroke. We're gonna put one on size position inside blend mode light color opacity 100 and here we're gonna select gradient click here to select the colors and the first color is gonna be FB 830E click OK and the second one is gonna be transparent so let, let's do that again FB 830E click OK the style is gonna be linear angle 90 and a scale 150. Next, let's select color overlay and click here to change the color to 23, 23, 23. Click OK, opacity 100. Next, drop shadow. Blend mode to multiply, color black, and opacity around 85 angle 120 distance 10 size 8 and let's go with inner shadow blend mode to saturation color black 100% opacity angle 120 distance 0 and size 42 noise 14 pixels next let's go with outer glow blend mode to hard mix opacity 100 noise 15 color black spread 10 and size 2 right here click on this thumbnail on the contour click here and we're gonna click in the middle and move this like like this click OK range 50 and jitter 0 next let's choose inner glow blend mode to linear dodge where, where is it linear dodge opacity 100 and let's change the color to 
F A E A A C. Click OK. Next, let's go with bevel and emboss. A style, outer bevel, technique, chisel heart, depth 969, size 2, soften 0. Uh, let's click on this low light to uncheck this um, take um, to uncheck it and let's put an angle minus 110 on highlight mode let's change let's change it to normal and the color to F A 2 A 0 F click OK opacity 100 and shadow let's change it to normal and the color 191614 click OK and 100% the opacity next let's click on texture Let's click right here and let's select the texture we did earlier, the pattern. So click here, click on this image, the one we did earlier. And on the scale, we're going to put 48 and minus 22. Let's click OK. So now, like you can see, we did all this to make the color the colors and shadows and all these kind of fire colors but that is just the beginning so let's duplicate this layer control J and let's click here and move it to the trash can put the opacity the fill to zero and double click it we're gonna add some more effects to make it look more like a fire more realistic so the first one is gonna be inner shadow let's change the blend mode to color dodge and change the color to f28 six to seven click ok and the opacity 100 click here to uncheck this and to uncheck the glow light and put minus 90 on the angle distance is gonna be 10 and size 24 next inner glow blend mode to overlay opacity 24 and let's change the color to FC 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 it's gonna be um, you can put white it's the same so just put white if you wanna type if you don't wanna type all those letters on source click on center and size put 31 next bevel and emboss size 30 angle 120 and let's uncheck the global light and on altitude let's put 39 on highlight let's change the blend mode to saturation color black 100% opacity and on shadow let's change it to overlay black and 57% opacity next let's go to pattern overlay 
blend mode to pin light opacity 100 and the texture is gonna be the same one we used before and on the scale let's put 50 percent so that you can see that uh, with the texture and all the colors we we been, we've been putting into the effects we got the result it's looking more like fire burning metal like a volcano thing or mag magma something like that I, I think it's called magna magma so now click ok so now let's go with the image and let's move it to the background we're gonna put it below below and on top of background so below photoshop and on top of background and you can put it right here change the blend mode to linear dodge and we're gonna are some um, we're gonna add some gradient map to it to change the color so go to gradient map click here to make all the changes to that image only click here to change the colors and the first color is gonna be 4b 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 the second one is gonna be 1a 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 and if you want you can uh, you can merge these with the background so press ctrl e and let's add a layer mask to that layer fill that with black so we we don't have it anymore so choose the brush tool with color white and with the size of the letters paint it on top uh, hold on let me let me make the brush a little smaller yep something like that and just paint over it to reveal some some part of that image so something like that like you can see on the layer mask this is what we did so we just reveal this area and lower the opacity to 36 36 35 so we have a lighter background right here and this is more darker on the outside so uh, the lighter area it's like a reflection of the fire not that reflection it's just the light of the fire so it's like reflecting in the background something like that you get the idea so next go on the Photoshop layer right click and convert to a smart object so now click control and make new layer and we're gonna name this layer um, shadows shadows what are we gonna do next is with a brush tool we're gonna paint black on each layer to on, on each layer to make it look more realistic so make the brush the size of the letter and just paint just click once on each letter so next let's add a, another layer let's name this orange and we're gonna paint orange on top or below Photoshop to make the 
it's not a reflection I don't know what is it but I think it's the reflection of the light of the fire that is gonna be reflecting on the background so yeah let's use this orange color that is gonna be pure yellow orange so select that one and change the blend mode of that layer to linear dodge and the opacity around 45 and let's paint the same way we paint with the black then go fil to filter blur gaussian blur and let's put 45 so now go click on the photoshop or on your text layer and duplicate it Control j and rasterize it right click and rasterize layer so next get the smash tool and with a strength 30% we're gonna melt the fire yes you heard right so with 30% strength and with the brush all depends on your on your letter so the bigger the yellow color use a bigger brush size and the smaller just use a small size so we're going to be using this kind of size and just do what, I, what I'm doing, just move it to top, to right, left. So just make it look like it's melting. Do the same with each letter. Once you're done with all the letters, we're going to add some curves to it. So click on the adjustments and select curves. And on here, we're going to select right here on the middle and move this a little bit down. And don't forget to click here to put it as a clipping mask. And another point right here. So I just put the points like I did right here to make it more darker. So next we're gonna add some new a new layer and let's name this uh, shadows two or yeah shadows two 
and select the brush tool with black color and we're gonna paint some on the dark areas on your text just paint like like that right here so you can see the differences so we're making it seem like it's really burning And lower the opacity to 39. So like you can see there's a difference with those dark areas on the dark. A little difference, but it looks better. Let's make another layer and let's name this orange to let's change the blend mode to color dodge and now we're gonna select this pure red orange and we're gonna paint like this to make it seems to give it more color to it don't exaggerate just do some points here and there Once you're done with that, let's go to filter, let's blur it out a little, Gaussian blur, and put 15. Click OK. Next, make a new layer. Name it white. Blend mode to overlay and select the white color and we're gonna paint white on the lighter areas like right here whoa it looks good right here right here right here woohoo oh yeah baby I like the way it looks now. So let me 
go back here and here so that you can see it's look better it looks better now we're gonna make a new layer and let's name this it's S Parks and we're gonna select this brush right here that is called glass brush and we're gonna select the orange color and what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna paint like this And to make it look more realistic, I'm going to duplicate that layer as many times as I want to make it look better. Control J, Control J. So I'm just duplicating twice. So we have three layers as Spark. Sparks, Sparks Copy and Sparks 2. So as you can see, we have the Photoshop letters under fire melting with sparks we're done guys so i hope you like this tutorial and if you have any questions suggestions comments or anything write it down in the comments and if you like this video please hit like share this with your friends with your photoshoppers friends and share it anywhere also if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and check my other videos if you like them Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye bye.